Welcome to the shop, Hero 10 owners. So we have a couple of Hero 10s ourselves, and we are plagued by overheating in 5K mode in a hot ambient with the battery installed. Forget it, it's not gonna happen. So of course we do what I suspect most people do, and that is we power the camera independently with a battery pack without the battery inside it. So even doing that in a warm ambient, start getting over you know 82 85 degrees in our testing we were limited to about 30 minutes of recording so when we tested it at 72 degrees in the shop we did not shut down there's two issues when it comes to cooling this camera one is your ambient temperature which is the temperature around the device the other issue is airflow when you are in a situation where you have very little airflow even with the battery out this will get very, very hot. So this is a Hero 9, but obviously the design is the same. The problem with this camera is when you get it into a warm ambient or in areas where there's no airflow. Very short recording time in a warm ambient, recording in 5K with the battery installed. At 82 degrees in still air, our camera shut off. After 30 minutes with the battery out, and being powered by a battery pack. At 72 degrees, we hung on. The testing is kind of weird because we were basically right on the verge of shutting down because at 72, we heated all the way up to 146. Front screen temperature. Because of the way our fan works, we had to take the temperature, the front screen dead center. So the camera hung right at 146 degrees front screen temperature at 72 degrees ambient. At 82 degrees ambient, it shut down at 146. Now, the temperature, the thermistor could have got bumped a little bit and moved ever so slightly, will, which will skew you a couple degrees. But at 72, we were hovering pretty close to shutdown temperature the whole time. And that is again, without a battery, external battery pack. These are the ones I got. I got a two pack from uh, Amazon a while back and these are impressive. I like these. It's got double connections and it can charge with a USB micro or a USB-C. We've been working on this for a long time. And it doesn't do miracles, but it helps in a couple areas. Number one disclaimer right off the bat is this fan being in your camera forks your audio off this camera. No doubt about it. Audio, worthless. Now there's a couple workarounds for that and we'll talk about that in a second. Plugs right into USB. And this will simply plug in and I mean it's in there it will not come out it looks a little ugly because I got glue everywhere what we have here is a speed controller now this is the one I'm going to use with it for now but they make another one where the USBs plug here and here I like that because it's less likely to get bent although I made the cover, we're still adjusting on this back cover, that's what holds it down. I believe it's boosting the volts, so you go all the way down to 3.2, but I believe it's bringing the 5 volts all the way up to 7 point something. The point about this speed controller is, if you do go past 5, this thing will make a lot of racket. But you start getting a lot of turbulence, negative pressure on your blades, it just, you'll, you will see, if you turn this all the way up, versus to about where it normally would be at five volts. It'll actually cool better spinning slower it's because it's not a mess of airflow right on around here. Okay, what can it do and what can it do? I can tell you what we discovered. I'll post hours and hours worth of testing video later, probably in a fairly raw format. Obviously, 
at high speed. The audio here is not usable. The problem is, is the audio in the whole room is unusable. So definitely we can't cool at high speed. We probably knew that. The idea behind using these is you're gonna to have to source audio from somewhere else. Or you can use this in situations where audio doesn't matter. If audio doesn't matter, you can record 5K with this, turn the fan up to the five volt setting and it'll run probably under 120 degrees the whole time it's on. So really, the biggest issue became how far away does the microphone that's actually recording the audio have to be from this to not cause problems with that audio. What we have found is if you put your microphone four feet away and turn the fan up so just to the point where you can't hear it, it'll cool nicely. It'll keep your temperatures under 140 degrees, somewhere in the low 130s, which is excellent. Now, this was at 82 degrees. The thing about every test we did is the ambient is critical on the testing. So with a slight amount of airflow, you can seriously extend your recording time. To give you an idea, I know you can hear that right now, but you'll be able to hear when this starts making noise. You'll hear the different noise. Now remember, this thing is literally eight inches away. And right now, have almost enough airflow to make a good enough difference. That airflow right there, three or four feet away, can't hear it. Huge impact on the camera. As far as any kind of interference the fan might cause with the video itself, none found completely maxed out. Get you a better look at it. It's 3D printed. This one is an eSun PLA. Of course, they can't go out in eSun because if they're left in a car, or they can't go out in PLA, if they're left in a car, they'll deform, melt. We're gonna go with either nylon or PETG. Right here is where it sucks in air. Can you see? Has that divider to make sure that air blowing here doesn't create negative pressure. That was one important thing with developing this is to make sure you don't end up with negative pressure inside your camera. Because if you have negative pressure inside your camera, it's not going to cool. Negative pressure is void of air. Air is what cools your machine. Air is not very efficient at cooling. I think I'm gonna make a Facebook group and anybody that wants to get one of these, get with me at the Facebook group. Fortunately, hand assembled, not getting these parts wholesale. You're looking at probably 70 bucks. Shipped. All right, everybody, good luck.